right guys, these guys are working on getting the window framed in for the front of the house there. Get that front wall done. We're also gonna get this, I think we're gonna get the side wall done and we're gonna get the, the edge of that overhang of that roof figured out today as well. So I gotta run and get some hangers, some plywood, some nails, and a couple of two by 10s. So I'm gonna run to the store and I'm gonna leave you with these guys. showing you yet we've got the second level patio uh, LVLs in so today we are moving right along I'm As you can see we got our windows cut out got the steel cut out the other day So on the master side, we got all of our windows cut out. I don't know if you've seen that yet, but this is, it's getting exciting. Here's the bathroom window. Look at that sucker, it's just massive. Look at that view, that sun coming up out the bedroom windows. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Well, like I said, except for the camper, but... Something that you've had in your head for as many years as I have to actually see it start to come together with even like the small parts or small details because we didn't know exactly how a lot of this was gonna work so a lot of this I didn't even have a vision in my head yet of what it was gonna look like but up here where we got this overhang along this edge it overhangs about two and a half feet and uh, if you look on the end here what we did is we ran that out a little bit further the joists don't run out that far and the roof doesn't run out that far up there but we thought well if we run that out the same as the distance on this side well like you know maybe that'll have a nice look to it so to see these to see these details and little parts of it come alive is just uh it's it's exciting got a little bit of humble a little bit of bad news jerry forced me to take out my concrete walls here he said if you don't take those out i'm not i'm not coming back so no these were these were the rebar that we had sticking through um on the on the on the front wall here where we were going to do a cord wall was in the way of our two by sixes or our two by six wall 
for the front of the house. So unfortunately, as you can see, I had to cut these off and we're gonna do have, have to do something different. Um, Jerry gave me a few ideas. He said, you know, we can actually plaster that wall and make it look like concrete. We can whatever, uh, but we're gonna do something a little different with the back wall. We'll figure it out as we go. But everything up here is looking absolutely amazing. Still have to put some hangers on the cantilevered walls um, on this side. Um, we don't have the hangers in there yet. We're about to get those in. But yesterday we went around, John and I, and we pinch blocked everything for our sheeting. So as you can see up towards the top up there, Let's see if I can point that out correctly. Up right up towards the top, there's some there's some two by fours in between the studs. And that's our pinch blocking so that when they put the sheets on, that lines up at eight foot. And so those can get stapled off. So things are happening. They're happening pretty quickly these last two weekends, which is pretty awesome. Um, sounds like we're gonna have Sounds like we're gonna have, obviously this one's already framed. You see that huge window we got in front. I'm super excited about that. Um, but we're gonna frame in this lower section and we're gonna frame in over here and have that roof all sheeted on that end. So I think all of that's getting done today. the rib out of my back so I can't barely breathe but this is what we've got for our finished product from this Saturday what do you think I'm super excited these guys like I said Jerry Mike John you guys just did an awesome job thank you so much this is This is amazing. This is totally coming to life. This is this is nuts. We basically have one big balloon frame wall and back left and fixing, you know, finishing out the edge of the roof um, on the back side, like we did here with this overhang. So once that is framed up back there, then we are good to get our roof to get our uh, have Adam come out and do the rubber layment or rubber liner whatever you call it but have that done on the roof but yeah I don't know I am just absolutely pooped and hopefully we start seeing some progress with the spray foam but this is what we completed in eight hours today not as much as the first day but there's a lot of detail work. You can't just frame these walls. You got to hand frame everything. So each stud gets put in one piece at a time instead of building the wall on the ground and lifting it up like we did on um, like the front section over here. This is each piece gets cut to length and gets nailed at the top and nailed at the bottom. So yeah, we're moving right along. You know what we're going to do is we're going to load that up. And we're gonna go to a friend's property that they just purchased 
and we're gonna go play around and have some fun time with the kids. It's uh, those few and far between uh, of just being able to hang out. This house is consuming my life. So uh, I'm gonna go screw around with the kids and have some fun. We'll see you guys later.